One last exercise here, talking about exporting our drawings out. Sometimes you get done with your drawings, you have to send these out to other users. So I'm going to talk real briefly here about exporting. First export you have, if you come up, you go to export, is export to PDF. This is probably the most common. Hit save, and you're done. It really is that easy. It'll actually open it up in your PDF writer of choice. So now we have this drawing. You can email it out to somebody, and we're good to go. The next one is save as. If you hit that little arrow here and you say save copy as, and what this will allow you to do is save it out to other drawing formats and other image formats. Probably the most important one is going to be AutoCAD files. You save this out as an AutoCAD file. So we go to chapter 13, centerlines.dwg. What I always do if I save it out as an AutoCAD file is I label it as an ACAD. Hit options here and I can choose what version of AutoCAD it is. So I can say AutoCAD 2010, AutoCAD 2007, whatever you may need, depending on your vendor or your customer. Finish, save. So now I've saved that out as an AutoCAD file. I can open up AutoCAD and open that up, and it's just that easy. You have other options with solids. If I open up one of our solid parts here, I can go save copy as or export. I'm going to do export CAD format. Now I can actually save this out as a ProE file. I can save it out as an IGES file, a CATIA file, STEP file, SAT file. Here's kind of my take on these. If you need to go backwards in time, Inventor does not let you save backwards. So if you need to send this to another version of Inventor that's older, Save it out as an SAT file. This is Autodesk native solid file, and it's going to be the cleanest way to get it there. It loses all of its intelligence, but there's no other way. Save it back, and that's one of the better ones. The next choice of mine is STEP. If I'm going to send this out to a SolidWorks guy, I'm going to save it out as a STEP file. Sometimes if you save back to STEP files, it'll allow you to do it. And then lastly is I just. It's the oldest of the free formats, I guess you'd call it, or legacy formats that allow you to send this out. A lot of mold makers use this format. They request it. Their programs are good at sucking in IGES files, so you can save that out. If you do save it out as a step or an IGES or something, you do have a couple options in here where you can go through and decide, do you want it to be this international standard? Do you want it to be a configuration control design? What are the tolerances? Things like that. You hit save and it'll save it out for us. If I change this over to IGES, I'll show you real quick what the IGES options are. IGES just basically says, do you want it to go out of surfaces, solids, or wireframe? It's pretty simple. Solids, more than likely. Solids that are bound. And then how do you want it to do it? You can include sketches. You hit OK. You hit save. And now you've got your IGES file. So now you can send this out to other users. And it's ready to go for anybody who needs to create a mold or use an AutoCAD file. And it's an easy way to share information with other users.